G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now there's a new functionality rolling out to Microsoft Lists and that is the functionality of an organizational template. So giving everybody in your organization the ability to create a list from a template that you have set up. So think of the scenario and the scenario you're gonna walk through in this episode is around an issue tracker. So maybe you've set up a list that you want to allow others to reuse over and over again with a specific schema, columns, all of that type of stuff that you've worked hard to create. You've come up with a template for the rest of the organization to use and you wanna make that available for everybody. So one of the ways in which we can do that is we can we need to do this via PowerShell though, and it needs does need to be a global admin, right? So we're gonna go through, we, I've already created an issue tracker list, we're going to extract that list as a template, and then we're going to make that available to the rest of the organization, all right? So we can see here, I'm actually in the new uh, Microsoft Lists desktop app here, um, and I've got this issue tracker list that I've already created. It's part of the Mark 8 project team, all right? So we can open that up and we can now see the, uh, the list there. Now, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to open it in SharePoint though because I need the URL. All right, so you can see here, I've got the URL and I'm, I'm going to use that in a minute. So to first of all, extract this template, uh, this list as a template, I'm just gonna jump into PowerShell and I'm in the ISE editor here and you can see I've got a number of different commands that I've, I've already uh, pre-populated. So we're gonna use these uh, pre-configured ones. So you can see the first thing we need to do is, is extract this list. So we're using the get SPO site script from list commandlet and we all we do is we pass the pass in that list URL so if we grab the URL of this list here like so we'll just copy that we'll replace this text here with the URL of this issue tracker and I'll just take out this component here and we'll go space we'll then run that command so that's gonna pop that into that extracted variable. We'll run it and you can see that we are now complete. Now the next thing we need to do is add the uh, the site script. So you can see here I've got add SPO site script. We give it a title, description, and then we pass in the content of that variable. So here I'm going to say uh, issue tracker and we'll give that that title and we'll just uh, change this to create an issue tracking list and we'll pass in that extracted value there. So we'll now run that command. So that's gonna add that site script, okay? And we can see there we've got the ID. Now the next thing we need to do here is um, add this list design. So we've got add SPO list design. Again, we give it a title and we pass in a title. Let's just pass in the same title here as this one. If I can copy it and we'll then delete this and then we'll paste that new title in there. We might even just use the same description copy and paste into the description section. And we now need to pass in this ID. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to copy the ID of that there and we'll replace the ID like so. We can give it a list color, an icon, and also we can pass in a thumbnail of that particular, uh, for this particular list. So I've got in the site assets folder, I've got a PNG file. So if I jump over to SharePoint, we jump into site assets. You can see here that I've got this, uh, this PNG file that I'm gonna use as the icon. So let's now run that. I'll just select this here and we'll just run this line. That's going to now add this list design, all right? Now, what we can do in Microsoft Lists now, that's now made that and created a template for us. So if I jump back into Lists and go to New List, you'll see here that I've got two tabs and two templates. I've got the default Microsoft ones, all right, so out of the box from Microsoft. I've now also got a from your organization. And here I've got 
my template that I've just created. I've got the, the thumbnail image, I've got the title, and I've got the description. I can now click on this, I get a preview of that, of what it's gonna look like, and on the left-hand side there, you can see if I add multiple templates, they're going to appear and I can flick through and have a look at what they look like. So I can now use this template. Same thing, um, what I'm gonna do is go Project Alpha uh, Issue Tracker. Again, I can save it to my lists or I can pick a site to, to add that to. I'm just gonna create it in my lists. It adds orange, you see there it had the, the orange color and also the icon. And there we go, we have that list created from that template. All the columns are ready to go, all right? Great piece of functionality, great way to standardize the list creation. You come up with a list that you want to reuse over and over again, for, it could be for different teams, uh, and then uh, you can make that available to the rest of the organization. Now, what if we wanna remove this? So the other two commands that I wanna show you here are two things here. So we can remove the list design and then we can also remove the site script. So with the list design here, what we need to do is pass in the ID of uh, that list design, all right? So here is the ID of the list design that we got just before. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this and we shall paste that in there. We'll now run that. So that's gonna now remove that list design. Okay, done. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the SPO site script. Okay, so up here, we've got the ID and we need to pass in the ID of the site script. We'll just grab the ID from there, paste into here, pass in that, and we will now have that removed from uh, Microsoft Lists as a template. So I'll jump back into Lists here. We'll go New List from Organization and there is now no list. All right, so nice, easy, simple way to be able to create organizational-wide templates of Microsoft Lists for reuse across your organization. So I really hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and see you next time.